Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar, and boy oh boy, we got some positivity. I got a goat sea of positivity, if you will. I got like one jar, one positive. Have I made you relive some terrible memories, ladies and gentlemen? I know every time I talk about Rockstar Games, it's always, man, they are bad. Oh, Rockstar bad. Rockstar bad. They did. The, they only care about the money. Now, of course, criticism is fine, but if you don't ever cover positive things or you never have like positive outlooks in life, then life basically is a negative hell for you. I like to have positivity, okay? At the end of the day, my life is simple. I wake up, I scratch my balls, and I play some Mass Effect, okay? But lately, I played Ma Ma Max Payne 1 and 2, okay? I'm playing a lot of Mass Effect. Like, I'll, I'll be honest, like, Mass Effect has been consuming my life. But Max Payne, I played, like, a month ago on Xbox One. Uh, the games were on, like, sale for, like, a few bucks. And so I was like, oh, I never played Max Payne. I never actually beat a Max Payne game except for Max Payne 3 when I built a gaming computer. And I absolutely loved Max Payne 3. So I, I found up Max Payne 1 and 2, downloaded them, and you know what? They're games that are awesome. They're bullet time pioneering titles, action-adventure games that make you feel like you're in the middle of a noir movie. They're absolutely a bit dated because they're games from the Paleolithic era, but ladies and gentlemen, they only take you one night to beat, and if you've never experienced the story of Max Payne, play the games. Do not watch the movie with Mark Wahlberg in it. Please, God, do not do that. It is a terrible movie. I don't even know how that guy keeps getting work, okay? I'll be honest with you. It, it baffles me. But, you know, for games like Max Payne, they always have a unique concept in them, and it reminds me of games like Mirror's Edge, you know, where it's like, okay, they do something really cool, like Mirror's Edge did the whole parkour thing, Max Payne did the whole depressed cop, you know, fly through walls, and not fly through walls, jump around and blow people's heads off. That's generally the idea. So every once in a while, games like this come by, they make a bit of a splash, and they just go into obscurity. But because of Rockstar and Remedy, the company behind making these games in the first place, they reached a nice little agreement. For instance, Remedy Entertainment enters agreement with Rockstar Games for a new Max Payne 1 and 2 project. We got two remakes, not a remaster. No, remasters are things that you would see like Grand Theft Auto Trilogy, where uh, you hire Grove Street Games, a mobile developer, to develop one of the most iconic trilogies of the PS2 era for modern playing. And you make that an absolute fucking meme. So it seems like Rockstar has learned from their mistakes, and they're actually using their own budget, because ladies and gentlemen, they make a lot of money off Grand Theft Auto. Let's not even joke. Okay, GTA V makes more money than almost any other game out there. Do you know that they're actually crossing sales charts again month after month in 2022? One of the most downloaded, possible most sold games. GTA 5 is like Resident Evil 4 and Skyrim. You know, like every time you're like, oh, gr grandma got a new vibrator. Does it run Resident Evil 4? Is it even a technological product if it runs Resident Evil 4? You know, it's kind of like on that part, it just gets ported and like thrown to generations, you know, every time. Except those two games aren't selling. GTA 5 still sells like hotcakes. You might be like, where's GTA 6? It's obviously in the pipeline. They're obviously going to make a GTA 6. You think they're going to let that cash cow monetizable go away? Hell no. That's going to be out there when it's out there. But you can always imagine that I wouldn't really be jumping the gun releasing a new game <laughs> if the one that I made 10 years ago is selling like hotcakes. Well, they're using that budget to help make Max Payne 1 and 2 a full-on remake using Remedy's newest engine, Northlight. So if you played games like Control, Quantum Break, which you probably have, Alan Wake 2, which is also coming out, same engine you'll absolutely feel right at home because instead of playing a game from 20 years ago in that original play style, which is absolutely still playable, by the way, I just did it on Xbox One. It really, it actually holds up way better than you think. Obviously, these games are going to play in the same style of Max Payne 3, an actual third-person shooter. And with that, with the newest emphasis on graphics, which is very important because this game has some of the best visual style going for it, and provided they do not skip away from the comic book cutscene, I would love to see that early New York gritty noir era represented with modern day engines and modern day graphical techniques like ray tracing for instance right which I'm obviously a huge fan of. Now, of course, with Max Payne 1 and 2 out of the way, this isn't enough for me to really talk about. To be real with you, I wanted to see if more IPs from Rockstar can get tagged in. Because honestly, what really saddens me about Rockstar games a lot is the amount of IPs that they have sitting there. And if you've grown up like me in the PS2 era, you know that Rockstar IPs were more than just Grand Theft Auto and Red Dead Redemption, or not Red Dead Redemption, Red Dead Revolver. So let's get into it, okay? 
Obviously, with GTA 6, this is one of the leaks that have showed up. I'm not even joking with you. This is what people believe is going to be a leak of the suburban section of Grand Theft Auto 6, right? So obviously you got like a flying rock with wings. Don't know what that's all about, but uh, this section over here, this screenshot rather comes from GTA Trilogy's Definitive Edition, specifically San Andreas. You see that's a little bit of a little CJ in the corner. Again, people think this is like Vice City suburban area, which, ladies and gentlemen, if GTA 6 is coming out, which it will, it's probably going to be Vice City or Carcer City, okay? So they got Chicago or Miami, and it would be insulting for them not to make an HD version of Vice City, considering that's one of the original trio of cities that haven't actually been touched yet, okay? Come on now, we've only heard references. And of course, do I believe this leak to be true? Kind of a yes and no. Sim not really a leak, because it was part of a, the trilogy in, in, edition, but do I think that this is kind of a call to GTA 6? Kind of. If you ever look at the way GTA announces games in the future, like when it came to buying the physical version of The Lost and Damned, which was like the GTA uh, four DLCs, then you would notice at the end of the instruction manual, remember when games used to make those, they actually had like, hey guys, we're done with Liberty City, and they'd have like a little vista of like San Andreas. We didn't know it was San Andreas at the time, but that's what it was. So do I think this is real? Possibly. All right, but I'm not going to hold my breath. All right, to be honest, GTA 6 could take place in space given how long it's taken to come out. So frankly, who knows? And now, if you wanted to buy Max Payne, they're only like 10 bucks. Like, the original game is like $10. You could pay like 20 bucks for like Max Payne 2, all right, with Max Payne 1. Or you could just buy the complete pack, which because of Max Payne 3, suddenly they jacked up the price of 60 bucks. Remember, this is Rockstar Games you're giving money to, okay? <laughs> of course, they're going to upcharge you. What do you think? Now, when it comes to their IPs, all right, various IPs, they've obviously got Midnight Club. If you've never played a Midnight Club game, you're missing out. PS2, that was sort of the jam. And honestly, the last game that had like a Midnight Club-esque feel, all right, an open world sort of like arcade racer in a city with like police chases and like wacky jumps and some of the most insane car driving mechanics. The last time I ever experienced, you know, a game like that in recent times was Need for Speed Heat. And that's not okay. We need to have more arcade racer games, okay? I love cars. I love racing in cities. I love dodging police officers. I wish we had more options. The last time we got a Midnight Club game, 2009, okay? Midnight Club Los Angeles. Absolutely beautiful. Last time we ever touched the franchise. Why? I don't know. Clearly Rockstar has enough money to, to purchase car licenses. Fuck, they do not even have to purchase car licenses. Hell, I would take the GTA 5 parody representations of modern day cars and just get a goddamn Midnight Club game. Give us a Midnight Club. Give us a racer. That's not even controversial. There was a period in time for Rockstar Games where if a game didn't generate controversy, was it even one of their titles? I'm working on a video specifically about Manhunt 2, but another game you may have known as that's never seen seen a sequel is Bully, right? Now, there's a community of diehard people who believe every day, all right? They pray to the, they pray to Scientology. They pray to, like, every fucking deity out there. <laughs> They're literally, like, opening the third eye so that maybe, just maybe, the universe can give them some blessing of Bully 2. Bully 2 probably isn't in production, okay? Regardless of what you hear, whatever background builds exist, you know, maybe Satan spread his asshole at Rockstar's offices and they saw, like, a glimpse of gameplay in that butt cheek. But... I don't think Bully 2 is going to be a thing simply because Rockstar could not handle the controversy now if somebody modded an AK-47 into the game. That would definitely not fly well. Jack Thompson would fucking get his license back just to try and sue Rockstar into the ever-loving ground, okay? If you don't know who Jack Thompson is, I feel old. Of course, these are, like, one of the, like, release screenshots, like, leaked. I always like it when a game gets leaked and it's always, like, some dude with his, like, cell phone. You know most modern-day systems come with a screenshot functionality built into them? Somebody just whips out their phone and just starts, like, fucking shaking and taking a photo of it. That's pretty much what you expect. So here you've got, you know, Bully 2. So they've got, like, part of the map opening up. They've got Bullworth, Wintersmith Manor, and, of course, a bunch of, like, uh, you know, blips. Like, missions that you can do for Alphonse, Bellworth, Jack... And, uh, you know, you can you can go to the hospital, you can go to Biology 1, and you can go to the clothing store, and they've even got online connectivity right over here. Guys, this is like final game build shit. They're not even going to have that. Stop falling for dumb leaks.
But do you think they'll make Bully 2? I really hope they do. I really, honest to God, hope they make Bully 2, okay? But they probably won't. Rockstar hasn't even made a sequel to Table Tennis, and that's one of the best table tennis games of all time. Now, of course, Rockstar has touched upon Red Dead Redemption. You probably heard about that. Red Dead Revolver, Red Dead Redemption 2. We're probably going to get Red Dead Redemption 3 at some point, and I'm kind of all game for it. But you know what I am game for, ladies and gentlemen, even more than that? Some goddamn smugglers run. Some Oni. Maybe even Beaterator. But you know what? what about manhunt okay manhunt one and manhunt two are right, one of the finer stealth action games nothing too terribly advanced you know they're not like hey guys we're trying to compete with splinter cell no they were horrific psychological thrillers manhunt one was about snuff movies people's love for gratuitous violence and it turned into one of the most pulse pounding atmospheric games of all time manhunt two went even beyond that manhunt two was such a controversial game i think it was censored in the uk two times adults only ratings thrown out the board and the bbc had the largest hard-on for it ever since anything they could witness so manhunt 2 was one super psychologically dark adventure like if he jumped into it it remains one of the few games on my channel that i've played completely uncut and i've received age restrictions for some of those videos because of how violent that game is it's a gratuitously violent game with an absolutely banger storyline that covers some serious psychological like t twists and turns and if you haven't tried it give it a try it's like if you ever were enthralled by project mk ultra this is the game for you and again this is the last time the last time ever that I think Rockstar Games even brushed themselves with controversy. Grand Theft Auto is not their most controversial franchise, but I'd love to see them touch upon various IPs. Honestly, Max Payne looks like it's going to be a good time. I've just played through those games again. It's an amazing thing about like how well those games hold up even to this day. All right, like Max Payne 1 and 2, you know, despite being like Xbox games, old Xbox games, old PS2 titles, banger how they hold up and i'm excited to replay these games again with an updated engine and you know i think if rockstar isn't in the business of developing tons of games you know from their ip history because obviously to develop games like gta 6 red dead takes a lot of development time i think for red dead 2 every rockstar studio because they have studios all over the world had to come together to just make that game and it was an amazing single player experience so understandably of course all hands on decks for the bigger projects but I really hope that Rockstar thinks of remaking, revisiting, or, you know, maybe lending out some of their other IPs for other developers to touch. Because these are pieces of gaming history that need to be preserved, need to be re-experienced, need to have sequels to. A lot of the games that I mentioned are absolute bangers, cult classics, if you will. Rockstar was a powerhouse. And if they're going to make games and they're going to revisit them, I hope they look at part of their other repertoire beyond Max Payne. Because there's a lot of bangers to hit. That said, though, ladies and gentlemen, this is me, Mudahar, and if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike it if you dislike it. I am out.